Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today we're adding some aquatic plants to our DIY backyard pond. We went over to the annual water garden sale at the Minnesota State Fair, and we picked up a few interesting aquatic plants that we'd like to add to the pond. So for planting, originally we tried to just get some soil wet, and the soil floats because there's a lot of organic matter in there. So now we're doing a multi-layered approach. We're going to take a little planter, put some wet soil in there. We're going to get it wet with this uh, mud. We're going to dig a hole, put our uh, lily in there, and then we're going to weigh down the soil with this nice sandland sand, and then put some larger rocks on top to keep the fish from digging around in it, and to hold everything in place. Rachel is also going to be mixing in some of this organic blood meal and bone meal as a little bit of a starter for the plant. Tune in next time on Cooking with Save It for Parts for more delicious recipes. Sandland silica is an excellent source of dietary sand. Here's what the finished product looks like before it goes in the pond. We also have a small bottle in here, weighed down with some agates and it's got the uh, name of the lily, so we know what we've planted where. Alright, so we've got a few of our lily pads in here, all ready for frogs to sit on them. I'm sure all of our fish will be happy to have more things to hide in, although they do like to come up and display themselves in the dome. All right, next up we're going to use these coconut fiber pouches as submersible planters. Uh, we're going to fill them with soil and then put some rocks in there so they sink and uh, put some plants in them. Alright, so now we're potting lotus. Alright, so in the process of putting all those rocks and landscaping things in the pond, we've dropped a bunch of stuff to the bottom. So I don't have an arm long enough to reach down in there, so I'm going to actually have to get in and retrieve some of that stuff. And of course I picked um, the darkest, rainiest day I could.
All right, we're going to call that good. I've got most of the stuff off the bottom. Um, I did start finding snails at the end, so I'm sure there's still some rocks down there, but I don't need to pick up every snail and harass them, and I, I don't really want to step on the snails. So we're going to wait till the water clears up and see how much I missed. All right, the toads are not very smart, so they like to breed in the bird pond, even though the birds love to eat toads, so there goes one. All right, toad, why don't you come over to the other pond? All right, yes, you're very angry. I can tell, you're very angry. Go in this pond, it's a better place for you. Look, there's already lots of babies. There you go. So the little tadpoles have decided that they like it up in the fish dome as well. I'm a little worried that they're just becoming snacks for the goldfish, but this guy seems to be leaving them alone for now. I'm pretty sure we're also seeing some little baby goldfish in here. I don't know how many of those are going to survive either. I think last year the big fish ate most of their own children. And whatever these tree things are underwater, have uh, sure grown up tall as well. I don't know what these weeds are, but uh, start taking off towards the end of May here. All right, I think I've looked at this ugly little plastic cover and this PVC standpipe long enough. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these and replace them with a low seating bench. Got this other garden bench that uh, Rachel refinished and then her little uh, Star Trek inspired stool. So we'll have that as a garden bench and then we'll add another one over here by the pond. And since wood is like $1,000 a board right now, I'm going to have to make this out of whatever scraps I can come up with from my hoarded pile here. So here's our little miniature bench hiding the water system. And I've got it set up so this opens, and then this inner kind of platform can hold a hose. Eventually there will be a faucet over there, but I don't have the parts for it yet. And then this lifts out, and we can get to the pump equipment and an outlet and uh, heaters and whatever else we need for the pond. All right, so this is. Uh Pretty nice little spot to sit and watch the fish. There's about a dozen just tiny, tiny goldfish right here. There's a busy snail right there as well. Well, that's about all I've got for the water garden. We're going to keep an eye on those tadpoles and watch them sprout legs and hop off into the garden where I have to collect them in buckets every time I want to mow. And then uh, we'll keep an eye on our swamp pond and hopefully get a nice crop of water corn dogs this year and uh, see what other wildlife turns up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.